What's going on everybody? So I got a Premiere Pro tutorial so that you can learn how to do this and this. So let's go ahead and get into Premiere Pro so I can show you how to make these effects happen. All right, so we're here in Premiere Pro and we're gonna get to work. So I got my clip already imported into our timeline. It's a slow motion clip of a high five. Phil is at a jujitsu tournament. He's one of my teammates. And I got that cool little slow motion clip of him with a little high five action, a little point. He's ready for the camera, he's camera ready. All right, so now let's go ahead and throw a strobe effect on there. First thing we wanna do is create an adjustment layer. In order to do so, we go into our project panel here and this little icon will give you a new item. You click on that and then go ahead and click adjustment layer. Now mine, yours will automatically set to whatever your sequences uh, settings are. So if you shot at 24 frames per second, yours will not say 59.94, it will say 24 frames per second. But mine I shot with the intention of using in slow motion, so I shot it in 60 frames per second. So I'll go ahead and click OK. It's created the adjustment layer, I'll drag that out and drop it over my video. Now you can do all of these adjustments directly onto the video itself, but a good rule of thumb is make it do it on an adjustment layer so it's easier to get rid of later. Okay. Now we're gonna go over to our effects and type in color uh, and scroll down to Lumetri color, okay? You could have also typed in Lumetri, but whatever. So grab Lumetri color and drop that over onto the adjustment layer. As you'll see here in the effects control panel, Lumetri color populates underneath it. Now all of the work we're gonna do is gonna be in the color wheels, right here in the color wheel section. Gonna hit the drop down arrow and there are our wheels. The key to making all of this happen, to making that cool strobe effect happen is in the keyframes. This little stopwatch icon, toggle animation. This is how we're gonna make everything pop. So we'll click the toggle animation icon and now we'll get to work. Every time I move forward in the video and change the colors, no matter how I change them, it will create a keyframe for me. And here is where you'll see the keyframe. So I'm gonna hit plus on my keyboard to zoom in a little bit. And then I'm gonna just go ahead and hit the right arrow key five times. One, two, three, four, five. You see that I've moved over five frames. And I'm gonna change the color drastically. I'm gonna go red. All three of them, shadows, highlights, and midtones, red. All right, then I'm gonna go another five. One, two, three, four, five on the right arrow key. And I'm gonna change it to blue. I'm gonna go another five. Well, you know what, I'm gonna go three this time because I'm feeling kind of crazy. And I'll change it to yellow. All right, and you can play with this however you want. Hit the right arrow key another five times, one, two, three, four, five, and change it to green. Um, change all three to green, then go again. One, two, three, four, five on the right arrow key. Let's do a little magenta action right there. I don't have to change all three of them. You can just play with these colors however you want. Every time you change the colors on a different area of the, of the video, you will be automatically creating a keyframe. Now, this clip is about four seconds long. There's a lot of frames in there and that's a lot of tapping that right arrow key. So I'm gonna shorten it. I'm gonna shorten the process rather. I'm gonna create one more because I wanna do a different color. Let's just see what we get with some, I'm just gonna mix them up, see what we get. Eh, that's not so cool. Extreme on the blue. Yeah, it looks better. I like that. All right, that's going to be my last one. Now I'm going to go ahead, click on the empty space here, and drag over all of my keyframes. I'll right click those keyframes and hit copy. Okay, now I'm going to hit the minus key just to zoom out so you can see what happens. Now you can right click and paste, or you can also control V and paste. Uh, I don't know what it is on a Mac. Sorry. I got Windows. It's for poor folks. Anyway. All right. So you do that a couple times, and you're taking up some space on the footage, on the video. But if you press minus all the way out, you'll see that you still got quite a bit to go. If you want to speed this process up, go ahead and highlight what you got now. Copy that, and then paste it. And it doesn't have to be at the very end of your last keyframe. You can paste it in the middle if you want. Paste it all over the place. It doesn't really matter. Like everywhere, you know, it's just, it's, it's randomizing what colors you'll wind up with. So when we're done 
and we filled our, our entire video clip with keyframes, we go ahead and play it and it looks like that. Right? It's super random. Uh, I know I started off with the base of like five or eight keyframes and five or eight colors, but by by pasting those, copying and pasting those keyframes in random locations like that, um, it just, you really can't tell where it's going. And I like that, I like that a lot. So there's your strobe effect on an adjustment layer over any footage. Now, there's another thing you can do with this that I think is pretty cool. And to do that, I'm gonna take this bottom clip, I'm just gonna copy it by holding Alt, clicking on the footage, and dragging it. And I've just created a copy of that. All right, and then I'm gonna go here on my video clip and I'm gonna find a cool spot that I might want to apply this other little effect that I like to do. And I like the pointing of the finger right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut right there. Let's zoom in on this a little. I'm gonna cut right there and let's see how long I want it to go on. Maybe right about there and I'll cut there as well. All right, and I, I tap C to bring up the cut tool, tap V to bring back your arrow, okay? Now we're gonna highlight this little middle section that we just cut, right? And then we're gonna hold Alt again, click on the, on the clip and drag it up. We've just created a copy of it. No big deal there. Now what we can do with this is pretty cool. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna drop the opacity to 50. Nothing changes because everything is still in the same spot. But over here on position, let's drag it over a little bit. See what happens. Oh, a little blur effect. Oh, you're not ready. See, you can mess with both of these on positions up and down, left and right, and, you, and that's what you got there. Now that looks pretty cool. But then if you take this adjustment layer that you've just made the strobe effect on, and put it over it. So hold Alt, make a copy of it, throw it on top of that, it doesn't matter, it doesn't really matter where you put it. Hit C and cut off all the extra fat. Okay, we don't need all this stuff. You had V to go ahead and highlight these other portions and delete them. And now, it looks like that. I know it's a short little clip I did there, but bang. That's a pretty dope effect, if I don't say so myself. Uh, and you can do this as long or as short as you want. You can change the colors up clearly as much as you want. Change the duration of it in between keyframes. You can go back and delete keyframes if you want. Um, but that's, that's another effect that I really like to use, and now you know how to do it. So if you have any questions about either of these effects, if anything was unclear, maybe I didn't explain something or I'm moving a little bit too fast, let me know. I want to put out as much of these tutorials as possible, um, try to help you guys out. I know that when I started off, uh, looking on YouTube for tutorials on how to do effects was critical. It helped me out tremendously. Now I'm at the point where I can start creating my own style and uh, my own spin on these effects that I've learned from other people. So hopefully you can do the same using these keyframes and Lumetri Color. No presets, no plugins, just all basic Premiere Pro uh, stuff that you got on there. So if you like it, please hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment if you have any questions. Thanks.